So in this video, we are going to be comparing the Unity Enemies demo to the Unreal Engine 5 Matrix demo. I'm super excited about this. Now, obviously, we're not comparing the engine, but we're just comparing the demo. So more specifically, I am comparing the facial animation. Because originally, when I uploaded the video on the Enemies Unity, I said that I thought it was Ziva Dynamics, but it's actually not. The facial animation for Unity Enemies was actually done via 4D. And guess what? The Matrix demo was also done using 4D technology. So with that being said, let's take a look at the Unity demo first. Now, obviously I fast forwarded because to me, I'm not really looking at anything else. I just want to see the photorealistic human and the photorealistic facial animations. So let's go ahead and play. And again, we'll talk about it a little bit more after. Oh, spoilers, if you haven't seen this. Stop the video right now, by the way. I have in my head everything that anyone has ever known. You have in your heart everything anyone has ever felt. Power is given only to those who dare to lower themselves and pick it up. Okay, so this is the Unity Enemies demo. Now, as far as shadows and flickering like that, I actually had to re-render this footage. So please don't judge on that. Don't judge on the quality. Because even though this is 4K right now, as you can see, the shadows might flicker a little bit because it's not the original source video. All right, obviously I can't. I don't have the source videos for both. I'm just going to have to go of what they kind of had available online via YouTube, all right? So I got these videos from YouTube, from Unity, and then the Matrix demo I got from IGN. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Matrix demo now. Now, I'm not gonna show you the entire thing. I'm just gonna show you what I thought was important as far as facial animation and photorealistic characters. For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here that it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? So I'm, I actually ended up cutting it here because this person in the mirror, I absolutely think is or was the real Keanu Reeves. So I'm not using this. I'm not basing you off of this because this is a person. This is not CGI. Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. What? He's Keanu? If he's Keanu Reeves, then... Never mind. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character of Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered right, so digital this is CG right here. with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? What is identity? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? All right, so I'm going to cut it right there because obviously once they get in the car, they have shades and glasses, so it's hiding the eye movements. So what I'm going to show you now is really a side-by-side -side of those two clips that we just watched. And I guess what we're going to do is talk about this in the comments below and let me know what you think. Now, we're looking at facial animation and photorealistic as far as the characters go. I don't care about anything else. I don't care about the rendering or any all these clipping clipped highlights right here. I don't care about that too much. I just want to know, in your opinion, which is the most believable as far as photorealistic and facial animation. Like, 
whenever you watch the unity did you go did you second guess yourself a lot and then what when you watch the matrix demo did you second guess yourself a lot cuz to me to be honest for the matrix demo i picked out the cg character right off the bat pretty quickly and I actually made a video about that but for the unity demo i legit had to keep reminding myself what i saw during that Ziva interview or a Ziva meeting that I had and I had to tell myself this is probably CG this is probably CG because to be honest again the Unity one is the best I've seen so far when it comes to photorealistic characters and facial animation obviously when you get a little bit closer it gives away like the tongue that gave it away a little bit and obviously some of the eye movements I give it away but again I can't wait for Unreal Engine's responds to this and again let's play this back side by side and we'll talk about it a little bit more all right so let's press play i'm not gonna have any audio on this because obviously they're just gonna overlap so just go ahead and pay attention and see what you think between these two takes here and this right here of keanu is actually the best one that i can, well not this one not the mirror shot I'll give you a sound effects. All right, so if I'm gonna pause right here. So this is pretty close to what I kind of want to show you guys. You have this girl right here, you have Keanu, and this is really my deciding factor right here because this is a pretty nice head and shoulder shot. I mean, she's a little bit wider, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, Keanu looks great. Hey, th thanks. But but I don't know. It's just something about this Unity Tech demo that I couldn't wrap my hand around. I mean, even here with Trinity and oh guys, look, I'm not biased. Like I said, I I, I use a software if it's good. I I'm, I don't pick any software. I don't have a favorite. Is what I'm trying to say. I will use Unreal if I have to. I will use Unity if I have to. I'll use Omniverse if I have to. But oh my goodness, oh, I'll shut up. All right, so I'm gonna pause it right here again because like I said, that's really just them in the car. So, let me see, all right. Okay, so let's talk about technology. The Matrix demo, they also use 4D animation tool. It's also a 4D technology that they use for the facial animation. Unity Enemies Part 1 right now was also 4D. So it's a pretty darn good comparison as far as facial animation goes. As far as character goes, they were both scanned as well. So it's a pretty good comparison. Uh, Unity was rendered with HDRP, and I'm not sure what Unreal Engine 5 was rendered. I don't know if Lumen it would reflection, I don't have no idea. But that being said, what's exciting about this is apparently the Unity video that we saw was only a small portion of the demo. Apparently now they're going to be trying to finish the entire scene that they had in mind using Ziva Dynamics ZRT. So we are going to be able to see the 4D performance right now, but later down the road, we're going to be able to see the Ziva Dynamics as well, which I think is super exciting. And like I said, I've seen some things that I think y'all are going to really like. So as far as timeline goes, Unity took a year and the Matrix demo also took more than a year. However, the Matrix demo obviously is a lot bigger because it's a playable PlayStation 5 demo. So you have to keep that into account. But yeah, I'm not going to keep talking. I just want to know what do y'all think now? Because we, we were talking about in my previous video two days ago. Hey, no, the Matrix demo looks better. Well, now that you see it side by side, I want to know your thoughts. Yeah, so just leave me a comment down below. And if you have any questions, let me know. And man, what an exciting times we are living in.